Good morning and welcome to another Wisdom Wednesday. Today I will be speaking to you about becoming the gospel of peace. And normally when we think of peace from a biblical perspective, it is mentioned in two forms. First, the peace of God and second, the God of peace. Both can be found in Philippians 4, 7 and 9. But absent of the biblical account, um, when we think of peace, we normally think of it as a personal and private affair, not a public matter. And this is due to the preaching and the embodiment of peace in the 21st century. Because we find that peace is equated with a personal tranquility or happiness. But when we look at Holy Scripture, particularly for Paul, we find that peace, um, shalom, which is the Old Testament word for it, is the fullness of life promised by God in the Scriptures, manifested in Jesus the Messiah and actualized for human beings by the ongoing power of the Spirit. Shalom is much more than a quest for personal tranquility or happiness. Peace is much more than a quest for personal tranquility or happiness. For shalom and peace means healing and wholeness. And this includes peace both with God and with others. And even with the rest of the created order. For Paul then, the church is a community of peace and peacemaking. And the church and the community is to become a living embodiment of God's peacemaking good news in Christ. So then, on this Wisdom Wednesday, I encourage you all to become an embodiment of peace. I acknowledge the fact that peace is first of all a divine gift that calls all of us to respond and to participate in God's mission and work in the world. With so much going on in our society and in other communities that might have an indirect effect on us, I feel that God has called us on Wisdom Wednesday to reflect on peace and to become peace. Have a blessed day.